What's up guys? It's your boy Jaime G coming at you on this Wednesday afternoon to let you guys know what's going on in the wild wild west of crypto land. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderfully blessed day guys wherever you're at in this beautiful world that we live in. Guys, in today's content we will be talking about Bitcoin, right? Four reasons why you should still remain bullish, right? And out of those four reasons I will back them up with some articles that have facts and statistics. Now, guys, now, if you are new to the channel and that sounds good to you, please consider to hit that subscription bell and turn it on to all so you can be notified at all times when I come through with the latest and greatest and not just that. I am giving away $300 of crypto when we hit 1,000 subscribers. Now, if that sounds good to you and you like free crypto, what you waiting for? Hit that subscription bell and turn it on to all. And none of this is financial advice, guys. It's just ya yeah, boy. I'm a G. Yep, yapping on YouTube. Nothing more, nothing less. Now let's just get it, guys. All right. Good old Papa Bitcoin is at thirty eight thousand six hundred and thirty two with ninety three cents. It is currently down three point eight nine percent, guys, for the day. Well, guys, it's not bad, man. We're still holding up above that uh thirty eight thousand five hundred level, guys. You know what I mean? So looking good, looking good, still, right? I know there's still some bears out there, right? But some of them bears, right? Over a million, over a billion dollars of shorts got liquidated, right? We'll briefly touch on that as well. You know what I mean? So, you mean you can't bet against a uh, good old uh, Papa Bitcoin, man. He's going to always prove you wrong. Anyways, 24-hour high of 40450 and 24-hour low of 38625 Market cap is sitting at $724.56 billion, And volume in the last 24 hours is at $39.64 billion. All right, guys. You know what I mean? We're, you know, we're, it's a fight, guys. You know what I mean? For us to continue to push up. But nonetheless, I think we will continue to push up in this bull run i still think we're in a bull run guys i just think we we uh consolidated anyways that's just my opinion what do i know right all right guys now here is four reasons to be bullish as bitcoin breaks back above 40k now it says reason number one bitcoin to stable coin ratio now it says the analytics company said the this metric has a perfect btfd hit rate since 2019, CryptoQuant encouraged uh, BTC bulls by adding, it just printed another buy signal as the stablecoins sitting on exchanges have far superseded the Bitcoins, suggesting more potential uh, purchases. It's worth noting that Bitcoin stablecoins supply ratio, which works similarly, has also been declining in the past few months. Number two, right now I'm going to back up this reason here with some articles, right guys? And um, the guy that created the Boilinger bands, right? He gives his reason on why he thinks the bottom is in, right? And he is somebody that his word has a lot of validity, right, guys? You know what I mean? Because he created the Bollinger Band. So he obviously knows what he's talking about. Now, it says, German Timber, the director of Global Macro at Fidelity Investment, also opinioned about Bitcoin's recent price developments. In fact, he believes that the massive price slump towards 30K was actually the bottom. He came to this conclusion by comparing the BTC USD chart with the GS uh, retail favorites basket history shows that the correlation between the two has been relatively high suggesting that bitcoin could indeed mimic the basket's performance right then it gives you the breakdown right here guys right then it goes on to read reason number three and i have some articles to back this reason up as well that we will get into it says reason three corporations such as michael strategy and i'm going to use him right in this article here in a second keep buying institutional praise it says Michael Saylor's Nasdaq-listed business, Intelligent Giant, plans to allocate another $1 billion in the primary cryptocurrency after a new stock offering. The executive, who became the, the most prominent BTC bulls in the past year, took it to Twitter to advise those who plan to have 5% of their, of their portfolios in the asset that the remaining 95% will be demonetized by Bitcoin. Right, guys? Now, it says here, interestingly, he was referring to Paul Tudor Jones, the prominent hedge fund manager who outlined BTC's benefits over a year ago after the COVID-19 pandemic broke out, praised the cryptocurrency once again during a more recent interview. Fourth reason, hodlers keep on hodling. Right, guys. Now, it says Glassnode's charts uh, below shows that a very large volume of coins were purchased in the early bull market and have remained largely unspent. The current rate of maturation is over 400K. BTC slash month, which is much larger than the 160k BTC uh, we estimated were sold mostly by short-term holders during the May capitulation event. So in other words, what they're saying in that last paragraph, guys, is, you know what I mean, the people that sold, right, they had, you know what I mean, they were 
wallets that were from anywhere from one week to like five weeks old, right? So long story short, the people that had sold during the capitulation when we uh capitulation when we hit that 30k uh back in early May were uh short time sellers, right? It was those people that were manipulating the market. Uh, long story short, right? It says that without saying it there. And it says, and perhaps a bonus reason is the active addresses on the Bitcoin network. This activity is typically linked with Bitcoin's price with the general rule of thumb, suggesting that more users utilize, utilizing the blockchain, the more bullish performance transpires. And it goes to say that active addresses has bounced off the early June low of 715,000 such wallets to just shy of 1 million. It's still well below the mid-April high of 1.4 million, Interestingly, BTC went towards its latest all-time high at that point, but the 10-day increase could still be considered bullish. Okay, guys, so now, those are the four reasons. Now, let's go and back up. So, the second reason was because we hit the bottom, right? So, now, let's see here. We're going to go right here with this one here, right? It says, legendary trader uh, John Bollinger claims 50K is Bitcoin's next target. It says, Legendary trader John Bollinger claims that the bottom is already in for Bitcoin. And, and I I truly believe what he's saying, guys, because this guy obviously knows what he's talking about. He made Bollinger bands, right? So he knows a thing or two about, about uh, technical analysis, right? It says, the, create, <clears throat> the creator of Bollinger bands volatility indicator believes that the bottom is already in for the flagship cryptocurrency. It says, despite logging its third correct, uh, correction in May, th in May, the uh, bellwether cryptocurrency is still up 42% in 2021. El Salvador's bombshell Paul Tudor Jones' recent bullish comments, as well as MicroStrategy's buying spree, are fueling Bitcoin's ongoing surges, as reported by you today. A recent Bank of America survey shows that Bitcoin is no longer the most crowded trade, citing grounds to commodities. And it says here, uh, Alex, is the... Oh, okay, my bad, guys. So, uh, yeah. So, anyways, guys, the point I'm making here, right, guys, is to show... Right on the second reason that it was saying on there was right. This guy here, Mr. Uh, John Bollinger, claims that the bottom is in, right? And I believe it is, right? And then you have here it says everybody will accept Bitcoin and its price will reach 250k. And this is Tim Draper, right, guys? It says the American billionaire Tim Draper predicted that Bitcoin's value would reach 250,000 by the end of 2022. He furthered opinion that the primary cryptocurrency would be the core of all financial activities for the next 20 to 30 years, right? BTC is the future. And I agree on it, guys. I continue to say, right, this is the beginning stages, like how the internet was, guys. You know what I mean? So I'm just going to read you two paragraphs here, right? Now it says, Tim, it says, uh, Tim Draper, American venture capitalist investor, shared with CNBC, his bullish view on BTC's future value. He forecasted that despite the volatility in the crypto market, the primary digital assets would hit 250000 by the end of next year. Additionally, Draper said numerous large companies would follow the example of Microsoft, Starbucks, PayPal, Home Depot, and accept Bitcoin as a payment of means. That's coming, guys. It's right around the corner. Then he went on to say this. Give it about a year and a half and retailers will be on open node, Bitcoin payment processor, so everybody will accept Bitcoin. All right, then you can further go into the... um. And to the uh, 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 article here, if you choose to, guys, I don't want to, um, you know, bore you to death reading every single thing, right? But I just wanted to point out, right, and use these to back up, right, those four reasons. Okay, so now on reason number three, right, guys, which was um, institutions, okay? So now we're going to get into right here. That backs up num reason number three. It says hedge funds see 7.2% of assets in crypto by 2026. Report says that asset allocations equates to about $312 billion across the sector. Now, they're talking about hedge funds, guys. Now, these are people that have billions and billions of dollars, right? Talking about most of them are going to have up to 7.2% in their portfolios. That is a huge statement to say. It says hedge funds ex expect to hold 7.2% of their <clears throat> assets and crypto in five years time according to survey conducted by fund administrator intertrust that asset allocation equates to around 312 billion across the sector according to intertrust intertrust estimates the financial times reported tuesday as many as 17 percent of the survey's 100 respondents expect more than 10 percent their portfolios to be allocated to crypto in 2026 the funds surveyed manage an average of 7.2 billion in assets so out of these 100 people, guys, 
they have an average of seven point two billion dollars, right, in their um in their funds, right, guys. So these aren't little guys with chump change, right? These are guys that are moving billions and billions of dollars, right? North America funds predict their crypto exposure will be ten point six percent, while those in the UK and Europe forecast six point eight. Existing holdings in crypto across the hedge fund sector are, however, unclear. So it is not apparent how large an increase these figures represent. Right, guys? But this furthermore shows about major adoption and it shows about how the institutions are interested, right? I mean, then we're going to get into this article here, right, guys? And they had talked about a uh, micro strategy, right, on the third reason. And we're going to touch on this right here, guys. Now it says, bullish all the way, micro strategy doubles down on its Bitcoin bet. All uh, right. We'll be out of here in a couple minutes, guys. Bear with me. Thank you if you're still with me. It says, there's never a dull day when it comes to crypto, as was amplified recently when the digital asset market dipped around 50%, eventually taking the total capitalization from its all-time high of $2.5 to around $1.7 trillion. Right. And then, as as we as was expected in the wake of all this, Turbulence microcellular led business intelligence for MicroStrategy announced that he was all set up to buy the dip, successfully concluding its $500 million offering of secured notes. Then it goes to say here, right, it says to quickly recap MicroStrategy's recent crypto purchase efforts, it should be highlighted that since August of last year, a time when the firm bought 250, uh, 250 million worth of BTC, the company has been on a Bitcoin buying frenzy as it highlighted by the fact that the firm holds a total of 92,079 Bitcoins, which works out to nearly 3.8 billion, right? So he puts his money where his mouth is, guys. Right, he believes behind the technology and he believes on everything about Bitcoin and he backs it up by buying it. it. Says lastly, it bears mentioning that the BTC value continues to hover around the 40k zone. MicroStrategy will most likely be able to add a around 11,900 Bitcoin to its balance sheets, bringing the company's total crypto haul to over 4.2 billion. Right, guys. So they're saying because he was talking about buying, um, I think another one billion dollars worth of Bitcoin here as of uh, sometime this week. Right. So it just goes to show you, right, the institutions that are behind behind it. Right. And I just wanted to point this article out as well. Right. It just shows about the interest behind um, institutions. Right. Giving the reason number three on the four reasons to remain bullish. Right. And these guys have lots of money, guys, billions of dollars of money that they are going to put in the crypto markets. It says Morgan Stanley set to expand Bitcoin fund options. Right. It says this will be the fourth Bitcoin fund linked to Morgan Stanley. The bank first embraced Bitcoin funds back in March. Right, guys? So it says Morgan Stanley's wealth management clients may soon have even more options for getting into Bitcoin. Then I'm going to touch into where it's interest, not interesting, where it talks about right here. It says, it says Morgan Stanley first offered Bitcoin funds in March, including the FS and New York Dig Select Fund and the Galaxy Bitcoin Fund LP and the Galaxy Institution Bitcoin Fund. It was the first major U.S. bank to do so. Though the funds have high barriers to entry with the minimum investment for the form for the former to set at 25,000. It's 5 million to buy into the Galaxy Institutional Bitcoin Fund LP. It's huge, guys. They have to have a minimum of 25,000, right, to freaking even invest into Bitcoin. And then with, through Galaxy Institute, you have to have $5 million, guys. Just think about that, right? The more and more people that have these big dollars want to start getting into uh, Bitcoin, into crypto, right? And that's huge, man, for adoption. That's just huge for Bitcoin and the whole crypto market in general. All right, guys. So now I wanted to close out with this here, right, where it talks about um, some shorts, right? It says, there, oh, no, that's, I apologize there, guys. It says, right here, it says, <clears throat> I think this is pretty interesting, right? It says, don't bet against Bitcoin, right, guys? It says, a 42,000 Bitcoin ahead as bulls wreck a leveraged bearish position. Right, it says a surprisingly rec price recovery in the cryptocurrency market led by Bitcoin caught bears on the wrong side of the trade this Monday. Bears lost one billion on their leverage short bets, according to data provided by Bybit.com. That was just pretty good, pretty cool, guys. You know what I mean? Because people, all these bears, right, against uh, betting against Bitcoin, man, and Bitcoin is always gonna Bitcoin's gonna do what Bitcoin does, guys. You know what I'm saying? You can get more into this article here if you want. And then I wanted to uh briefly touch on this last article before i close out right guys now it says whale watching 
Bitcoin long positions near all time high. Right, it just goes to prove, by guys, people are still bullish on Bitcoin, right? Even though we've had these dips and all of that. Now it says the transparent blockchain provides less fundamental analysis. See when whales are loading up on Bitcoin, but it can't tell when technicals take a take a turn. However, whale behavior might still be the key to understanding price action. Now let's get into uh, the statistics here and where I'm trying to in finance. It will okay. Oh, apologize, guys. Where is it at here? There. It says, Bitfinex is home to many whales, most family Joe uh, Joe 007, who gained notoriety for allowing Bitcoin at 65000 in 2019, but shorting the coin in 2020. No, I'm sorry, guys. I should have been better at this here. It says, uh, okay, it says, the last time longs were this heavy, Bitcoin price rallied from 12000 to 64000 in less than one year. With these whales back taking such a sizable long position, is in in the negative of a bounce and new highs. Only time will tell, but we'll keep watching whale behavior closely. There you go. This is the uh, paragraph that I wanted to really share that stood out to me, guys. Was it, it last time? Longs were this heavy. It went from twelve thousand to sixty four. You know what I mean? So that could be a positive thing, guys. Well, that's what I had for you guys, man. There's the four reasons on why you should still remain bullish, right, guys? Now, all these articles, you can look them up yourself as you do your own research if you'd like. Now, stay tuned. I will be having a, a video on Doge later this afternoon, maybe this evening. So, stay tuned for that. You guys stay safe and stay blessed. Your boy, Hammer G out. Peace.